years old. Probably $280. That's the biggest one we've caught all trip. No one else caught one of them today because all their pots were on the boats yesterday. With all of their pots up, it's time for Squizzy to do the count. That was uh, a few more than what I thought after we saw the swirl, how big it was last night. That's 49 for the shot. I got 49 more than everyone else at uh, Port Davy. And that brings their total catch to 414 lobsters. It's only three days to go in the season, then uh, looks like definitely a few months off anyway, if not three. I'm looking forward to it, actually. We'll uh, just have to budget the money to get through, but it's going to be good to uh, spend some time with the family. Sunrise at Green Island. And skipper Glenn and deckhand Jake are pulling the pots they set last night. Oh, there's a, there's a nice few pays in that pot. Like, that looks good. Bloody good fish. They are. What, are they all like that, aren't they? Pretty well. Like, you get a few big ones. You don't need to measure much. Oh, he's a nice one. Nine, I think. Ten, won't it? Nine, nine or ten, yeah. Ten. Good pot. Bloody hell. $1,100 worth of crayfish. Yep. Jake would have earned about a bit over $100 out of that pot. That's just put a smile on his dial. <laughs> nice reds, like, I'm bloody stoked with that. Like, you couldn't ask for anything more than that. At this time of the year, like, that's, yeah, that's bloody good fishing. Good fishing. What have we set? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we've got 18 pots for that many fish this morning, and I'd be happy with that for a whole shot a lot of times. After a day off, it's just what they needed. 50 lobsters from 18 pots. That takes their total to 459. Where we had the pots, that was a good little area, and the swell had gone off, and, you know, all the stars aligned, I suppose, and everything was right. So, yeah, it was lucky enough to have half our gear in the right spot that, yeah, last night. With just two days of the winter run to go, Here's what the season's tally looks like now. The bold contender is on 414. The Anson's Bay has 459 and rising. And the Triton has 624. The Minamurra, the William Norling and the Lee have all returned to port and have finished for the season. Glenn has 31 more pots to pull, but the next pot he spots belongs to somebody else. We're fishing around Squizzy now, and I've just spotted one of his pots, so I think it's about time we paid, paid him back. We'll go and play a little prank on old Squiz, I think. This is why Glenn is paying Squizzy back. What the f is that? You see that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> why if that's not a f***ing body? Oh, me f***. <laughs> this is a no-no. I don't. We don't normally pull other people's pots, but <laughs> Squizzy's just a few kilometres away, pulling the rest of his pots. Yes, I think he's been lying to us all this time. <laughs> Squizzy has been downplaying his catch rates to Glenn from the get-go, but this pot is looking healthy. He says he's not doing very well, but there'd be four or five measures in there. By measures, Glenn means legally sized male lobsters. Five in a pot is a great result. We've caught him out, I think. <laughs> because of Squizzy's dummy prank and deception, Glenn's decided that surveillance is in order. It's called lobster cam. I think we'll tie a GoPro to a cray and we'll yeah, keep a bit of an eye on his pot and see what goes down. They'll get a laugh out of this, I'll go, you bastards, I reckon. You'll only have to put up with it for an hour, mate. Just slide him down nice and slow. The trap is set, but will Squizzy take the bait? And we'll, we'll get to see what his facial expression is when they pull the pot and see the GoPro on the cray, so it'll be interesting. The bold contender has rounded Green Island on its way to the pot cam. Couple of good pots there, Tate. Is 
got five pots to pull. The bin nearly looks full. That rhymes. Five bucks to pull. The bin nearly looks full. So it's been a good morning so far. Hopefully these five finish off strong. I reckon we're looking at mid to high 100s. That'd be good. It was worth working them couple of days to uh, get these couple of good ones at the end. Squizzy's on a high. But little does he know there's something keeping an eye on his catch from down below. Hey, bad Squizzy? Yeah, Roger. Have you found our surveillance yet? No, I don't think so. I don't know what you're talking about, if that's what you're asking me. I look up in the sky, I thought of one of them drone things you've got flying around. I know after the dull that Glenn's going to try and get me back. Uh, I thought you might have found it by now. <laughs> I've done something. That bugger is spying on us and I really want to know how he's doing it. Hey! Squeeze! <laughs> Idiots. Glenn's pulled our pot and he's <laughs> stuck a GoPro on a crayfish and then tied it to our pot. I think he's just been a smart ass. I've never seen that before. The surveillance cray. Exactly what he is. How many you get out of it? Three. Three good sized lobsters from the pot is a good result. Not that Glenn will ever know. Tell me there was nothing else in it. It will. Not bad. You're dead. <laughs> That's our little surveillance we're running on you. The little joke we got going on here. How much you tell? We're keeping an eye on you. Yeah, where's the rest of them? It's the only one I got. Oh, we just had a quick look. <laughs> quick look? There, would, there should have been about four measures in it. Just part of the game. That's all it is. Just part of the game. Throw, throw him around. That's just keep him guessing. Nah. Uh, so, if there was four in it, you better chuck me over four. S Squizzy's telling me on the radio that there's no crows in this pot. And I'm thinking, well, he's <laughs> me again. <laughs> what makes you think I um, you anyway? I mean, dead honest with you. And you treat me like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you even when you do tell the truth, Squiz. Glenn thinks I'd tell him all the time what we catch. Look, sometimes I do, um, but most of the time I tell him the truth. Uh, actually, I nearly tell him nearly all the time, but now I've started telling him the truth all the time, so now he doesn't know whether to believe me or not. Was it really only two in the thing or not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good strategy. That confuses the out of him. <laughs> oh, well. Hey. No worries. All right, we better get into it. Well done. Pay that. Nine out of ten. Would have been ten out of ten if I had me size crows, if you reckon they were in there. <laughs> that was <laughs> definitely in there or pulled and I've gone oath. You are telling us that's a good part. I hope we can call that we're all square and nothing else happens. Yeah. It's back to business for the bold contender. Cut that tape. Tabor has pulled the remaining pots for the shot and it's time to count up. 140. 140 for the shot. I'm wrapped with that. That's bloody awesome. Yep. That takes their tally to 554 for the trip. We're back in business. Next time. I don't have any hydraulics. The bold contenders all busted up with dodgy hydraulics. We're dead in the water. We are stuck. The Anson's Bay surprise cash payout at port. Yeah, sort of a bit disappointing. Just chuck that in straight out there now. And can the Triton bring home the bacon? Come on there. There we go. You got it. With just hours to go until the season ends.